How do you ensure that the benefits of liberalization reaches the poorest of the poor? We have Rajesh Bhatt's Head Held High Foundation that now turns illiterate villagers into BPO employees. The amazing thing is that he's just 27. Property words per minute. Ramesh and Yankamba are trying their best to meet the targets in this tiny rural BPO. I was grazing buffalo and walking in the farm. I was selling fruit, vegetables. The face behind this success story is Rajesh Bhatt. Just 27, Bhatt runs the Head Held High Foundation in Kopal, one of the most backward districts of Karnataka. The foundation's purpose? To make executives out of young illiterate villagers. Our intention is to enable every villager to live a life of dignity with their head held high and give them an opportunity without charity. In 2007, Rajesh, a software engineer, gave up his tech job and a fat paycheck at OnMobile, a Bangalore-based company, to meet minds with his mentor, Sunil Savara. The two started an experiment that began with just eight people. 18 to 22-year-old villagers who had little or no formal education. Over eight months, the results began to show. We have found something called accelerated learning and we started using uh, songs and drama and uh, different types of presentations and conversations, movie clips, animations, uh, stories and you know everything else so that it could, we could grab their attention. After achieving success with the first eight, Rakesh and his friends opened this center in Kopal. It's not been an easy task. Getting rid of the accent and perfecting the Queen's language is tough. But Yankamma's story adds faith. A fruit seller and a domestic help, she had come to the Kopal Center looking for a cook's job. Today, she is teaching her son English. Head Held High has reached 113 students so far. After the training is complete, the students get inducted into this BPO setup at the center itself. As Tagore once wrote, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, into that country of freedom, may these dreams come to life.